I'm going to show you how to connect a ratchet strap, how to tighten it, and then a few different ways that you can tie it onto roof racks and trailers. In connecting your strap to the ratchet, you want to make sure the strap goes in that way, which means the way this handle folds is going to be away from the strap. All you have to do is you get that gap in this little circle here to spin around until it's facing the front and you slide your strap straight through there. And that comes out the other side. Another thing I want to clear up, which I've seen a lot of people get confused about, is this release spring here. You do not need to hold that down or use that in tightening your ratchet. And you pull that strap through until it is quite tight. Once that has some pressure on it, then you can start folding this over without pressing that release spring. As if you can see, that grabs the strap and rolls it around, pulling it tighter and tighter. And in order to release this, that's when you're going to pull down that spring. You're going to press that and open this all the way up. And that should be able to release it to the point that you can pull your strap out of. Now I'm going to show you a couple ways on how you can tie down something on top of roof racks. These roof racks here are quite narrow and I can easily just get the hook of my ratchet, hook it on the roof rack and make it go all the way across to my strap on this side. So obviously if I was fastening it here, I'd have to start from the very end of this, thread it the whole way through and pull it the whole way through, tighten it like I showed you and then tie it off. With a lot of length being left over though, in this situation, I would wrap it around the roof rack like so, making sure I go through the bottom of it. If I go through the top, it's obviously gonna come up higher than my piece of timber and not grab it. So we can see there through the bottom and that's wrapping over it and we got less strap to tie off at the end. The more times you wrap your straps around something though, the less tension they're gonna have when you tighten it. So if I am gonna wrap my strap around like that, I'm only gonna do it a maximum one time. Then I'm just gonna thread my strap through like I showed you before, hook this on, and while pulling the excess tight with this hand to make sure it all remains tight, I can start cranking this. And we can see this is solidly tied down. Now you're not always gonna have a roof rack like this that you can just hook your strap over. So there's two other ways you can do it. One way is you run your hook underneath the bar and hook it onto your strap like that. Now this is gonna be tight and secure, but you obviously do always have that small chance of the strap falling off the hook. And that comes to the most secure way. What we're gonna do is the same thing. I'm just gonna wrap my hook around the bar like that. And now with our strap going around, we've got a little loop in our hook. And I'm just gonna push the strap through that and pull the whole thing through. Now as you can see, I can pull that tight. The hook's against the roof.